Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've been trying to help so many. And, and today he sent me the Corel file, and this one is outstanding. You, you trace really well. I mean, there's some things we could change, but the owl's good, the eagle's good, the arrow's good. You know, you could clean this up a little bit, but it traced really well, but we need to get rid of that white background. So we're gonna go to edit, find and replace. We're gonna edit query. We're gonna go to fountain fill and double click on the text and you'll get this box. Then double click on that or click on that. Go down and click on your eyedropper tool and get to that white. It's actually not a white, it's a gray. Then hit okay and then put find all. Now I'm gonna just grab one of these this is really kind of strange how it's reacting, but there's all your, and you can see it's a gray and not a white against the white background. So we're just gonna delete that. We're gonna to have to probably go to object, group and ungroup and grab all that and just delete it. This will already engrave pretty well. The only thing, on it all depends on the size that you're trying to make it uh, this could be redone, uh, these graphics in here. And what I would do is pick the best one. So let's see how I made this a little bit bigger. Now let's see how big this is. It's five inches. Let's make our nudge factor six. And let's grab this one and nudge it over and nudge this over and nudge this over. Now... We're gonna go and kind of clean these up even though they are the, the best looking ones. We're gonna grab the shape tool and maybe just kind of, whoop, I hit the arrow key instead of the delete key. We're gonna delete that node, uh, maybe delete that node, maybe bring this in. And this would be personal preference on how you want it to look. Uh, maybe make that a point and maybe delete these inner two nodes Maybe delete that one. That's a little bit too much. Maybe make this a point. And let's delete some of these other nodes. And you can always move this handle around. Uh, let's delete that node. You're just trying to get a little bit smoother. And I'm gonna call that good. So now what I wanna do is I wanna select all that. I wanna group it together, control G. Now, what the easiest thing to do, there are counting starting right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of these. If I, if I counted right, maybe I started on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 of them. What I would do is just don't delete them, but nudge them out of the way. And because see that one's connected. So let's delete the ones that aren't connected, not delete. Let's uh, just nudge them out of the way. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And, you know, when you're doing this, you want to, uh, whenever you click on something, sometimes you get the shape tool. And some of these other interior parts uh, maybe aren't as good as the other ones. So we're just gonna move them all over. And there's probably a quicker way to do this, but uh, this won't take but just a second. And because we've nudged the one we cleaned up, we can nudge it right back. And at this time, you would probably want to, and you know, maybe all these shouldn't be the same. Um, or she, you know, but I think it'll look better and a little clearer. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I actually need that piece. Let's back up here. And because I've nudged them out of the way, I'm not deleting them in case we need something back. Now, these ones that are connected, 
we might have to work on. Um, see, that's connected. But there's ways around that. Let's left click, right click, and see what it looks like. And you can see how it's connected. Um, there's really not too much we can do about that. We might just not want to use those middle ones uh, and leave them like they were. So because this is grouped together and because we nudged it, we can nudge it right back. Now we need to find the center of this. And this is a little bit difficult, but if you take the circle, a circle or ellipse, make it about that size, and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key so it grows from the center. I'm gonna change my nudge distance and remember this on six. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit larger still holding down the shift key. And then I'm gonna nudge that over ever so slightly. So I kind of get it even. And it doesn't have to be the perfect shape as long as we're kind of even. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, holding down the shift key. And need to make it a little bit larger, holding down the shift key. Let's call that good, because really all I wanna know is the center of that circle. And let's get in a zoom here, click on our circle, and I'm having trouble finding the center. There it is right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring down an indexing line. And I ought to, there's my center right there. I'm gonna take a, another indexing line and get to the center. Now I can actually take my circle away. And because this is grouped together, we just have to grab it, control D and make a duplicate, move the rotation to that center point. This might be a little harder than said than done. Zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit more. You still have got to be able to grab your object. Double click on it. And because it's working with the Circle, you know what might be the best thing to do? Let's try this. Let's back up here till we get our circle back. And let's take that six inches and nudge that over, nudge our circle six inches. Now let's take this graphic and nudge it over six inches. Now we can take this and put it to the center. Now we can duplicate this, Control D, make a duplicate, double click on it, and now we can get the rotation. Now it's 21, 20 of them, so there's 18 degrees. Control D, and you can do this with uh, step and repeat, or you know, there's a lot of way, but already since I'm already here, and I'm going a little bit slow, just so my computer, and we can delete those later, the ones that are up top. Now I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of my circle, don't need it anymore. I'm gonna grab all these and nudge them over. Now all of them are identical, but we've got some problems up in here. So let's do this, let's back up here and let's delete this one and this one, and actually this one too, and then see what happens. And you could always play around with the other parts. And you could take that apart, but what we could do, let's click on that one and, and undelete it. Go to group and ungroup that. So now we have that part. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Try to get the center rotation about to the center. And you could run that one over. That one probably doesn't need it, but we're gonna put it on this other one. And we're a little bit off center, but what you can do is set your nudge distance. And I like he made his page yellow and I, I made it quite a bit 
bigger so I could have more room. Now we can just unclick that and minutely move it up. And I'm going to leave that other part. That looks pretty good. All of them are the same. Uh, let's get rid of that line there. And you can see this one might be a little bit off. And we can rotate it. And that's just because that other part is in the center. And because we're still in the rotation. And there's, there's a little bit of problems with these overlapping. And you could actually redo those. Um, You know, that, that might work right there. Just delete those other parts of the of the box or whatever that is. Maybe it was maybe it wasn't 20, maybe it was 21. But anyway, there's a lot of ways you could clean that up, and it just depends. Your text looks pretty good. You know, your your lines in your sun could be redone. Uh but I think you've done a good job and you know, you could play with these uh, lines as much as you wanted to. Uh, they kind of represent the sun rays. Your owl is good, your eagle is really good. Uh, the arrows, the you could replace these stars, but I think you're good to go. I'm gonna work on this a little bit more and then I'll send you the file and feel free to use it. Um, I want to work on this outer part. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.